All right, hey Capricorn. So I am doing, um, this is gonna be like a self-love read. It's to kind of help um, self-love. It's your relationships uh, around you, romantic, familial. So what we're doing is we are kind of digging deep and these have been, um, these have been pretty good reads, you guys. Um, so, uh, but really super deep, okay? We're gonna um, try to help see what conscious blockages and subconscious blockages are coming through so that you can help release these um, in order to call in healthy relationships, a healthy relationship with yourself, friends, family members, or even the romantic aspects. So let's just see who I'm talking to, your energy. So you're kind of sitting on a healing path right now. The Four of Swords is taking a time out from people, places, and things. Um, you might go to work and come right back home. All right. With the Five of Coins, um, current energy would suggest uh, rejection, loneliness, abandonment. And it could be that you're having some separation or temporary separations from somebody who's very, very near and dear to you. Um, Two of Cups does represent that soulmate dynamic, right? Um, the Four of Swords is healing its rest. So it could be um, that you guys have had a... a, a um, something decline when it comes to somebody that's very near and dear to your heart. So you could be going through a current separation. Um, it could be that you're trying to call something in that's very special to you and it's just not coming. It's not happening. Um, maybe a little break, a pause, a separation um, is what you're experiencing, but you're definitely pulling back from the world. You're not putting yourself out there. Um, and I feel like right now it's rest and heal. Okay. So let's see how it is you feel about love. How do you feel about love? All right, so we have the Seven of Cups. The Seven of Cups is going to be, um, you know, you could have some options. You could have, um, you know, people trying to approach you, energies trying to approach you, but there's one person that is very near and dear to your heart. Um, one person that's very near and dear to your heart. And it could be too that if you don't have a lot of people approaching you or trying to nab at your energy, it could be that this one person very near and dear to your heart has made you um, to feel like an option, made you feel like maybe you're, you're not as special to them, especially kind of given what your energy is. Um, it could be that you feel like that. It doesn't mean that you are that. It doesn't mean that you're represented um, in that person's eyes like that. But that's just what I'm kind of seeing. The emperor card representing um, one particular person very near and dear to your heart. We have the uh, six of cups coming through. Um, a hopeful return of the past. This could be a deep past life soul connection coming through here. Um, and it could be too that you, you, your soul recognizes somebody that's supposed to be here in your life, but the connection for whatever's happening is just not coming together. So what I'm here to do is try to help you navigate your conscious blocks, the subconscious blocks so that we can call in our happiness. Sometimes it's not our fault um, for, for um, the inability to obtain it. It's uh, what we're holding on to that prevents us from achieving um, our goals when it comes to happiness and love. So as far as your, your conscious uh, blocks. Okay. So the first card out, pay attention to the red flags. Okay. So this coming through as a conscious block um, basically has said, um, you know, there has been somebody that has probably manipulated your energy um, from the sun and back. Um, this right here could be the overinvestment into trying to find something wrong with people. And that could be on your end. It could be too that people have constantly told you, you're a walking red flag, you're a narcissist, you're this, you're that. And it's like, really, no, I'm not, you know, but it's putting too much emphasis or, or, or giving that person too much power over that mindset. Um, but I really feel the strongest thing coming through here. It could be what you have put out. Um, it's almost like you're trying to find something like what's wrong with you. Um, and even it, it, this could be superficial. It could be materialistic, um, you know, right here. Um, so there's a single mom and she's got, um, you know, three or four kids by, by three different baby daddies. Um, that could be an egotistical red flag for you, Capricorn. That's just an example. And I can sit with that. I'm a single mom and that's one of my scenarios in life. And I will tell you, I have been, um, labeled 
a lot, you know, um, you guys could be doing the labeling. You could care too much about what people think, you know, and it could be that you kind of know that you need to make sacrifices just as well. Um, when it comes to how you're thinking and what you're projecting onto people. Okay. So right here, um, this is just kind of toning it down. And I feel like this card is coming through because whoever is here, if you are looking, um, or overlooking or over embellishing too much on a person, especially from the material aspect or the egotistical side, it's kind of like, you know, um, that that's not really what makes a person right. We have retreat coming through as a conscious block. Um, this right here is saying that some of you guys could have turned into a uh, Mr. or Mrs. Hermit mode and you don't go out. And that right there, that in itself could be, um, you know, hiding yourself from the world. Obviously your soulmate's not going to come through your window and open it and jump through it. And if you're not meeting people, if you're not putting yourself out there, you're most likely not going to get anybody showing up on your lawn, play in the boom box. Um, it could be, um, you know, with retreat coming through as a conscious block, um, that, you know, you, you're even hiding yourself away from the current situation. Um, if somebody's put you in a lower energy, if you have a soulmate you're dealing with and you guys are not in union, um, retreating from them, hiding from them, you know, it could be too, that you've taken a situation and turned it into something that maybe it wasn't. Um, so if you guys tend to do that with people, not just the one connection, but with people in general, you hide yourself from people, you retreat when things get bad, you retreat when things get negative, you retreat when things get heavy, that's going to be something to look at. And then we have let go of control issues. Um, and this coming through as a conscious block when it comes to relationships, basically, you know what it is, um, universe and God, um, spirit saying, um, you, you can't control, um, you can't control what you're, what you're, you can't control it. You guys have already signed up for the path that you're on in this life. That's how I believe. Um, so there's no sense in trying to control a situation. It's just kind of letting it go, you know, let go of control issues. Um, it could be in the past. You're trying to hold on to somebody, um, you know, consciously. I, I don't want to lose you. I don't want you to go away from me. I don't want this. I don't want that. Um, there's somebody that's lingering in your energy that you haven't been able to kind of let go of in, in, in your conscious. Like this right here is you're aware. Um, maybe it's not one person. Maybe it's multiple people that you felt very near and dear to your heart. And maybe you tried to c control the situation or dynamic in that relationship. It could be too that you had an over bearing parent that you kind of need to, um, you know, go within this is writing to this, this right here is all about, um, making the, making the conscious effort to heal so that you guys can call in your happiness, writing letters to these people and burning them. If, if you don't want to make the verbal uh, conversation or connection, um, the release that we're talking here is done between you and God. It's done between you and your higher self, you guys. Um, and this right here, I feel is going to be in many ways. And if a lot of you had parents or grandparents um, that raised you that were kind of controlling, um, that could be something that has in turn put you in that spotlight for other people. You're going to know how this card applies to you. Okay. So let's see what the subconscious blockages are. The subconscious, this is going to be stuff that you're not aware of right out the gate. Um, and if you do resonate with it, um, you're going to know, obviously, if you don't really know what we're talking about, or you do know, it could be that this is something that triggers your mirror or it, it triggers your uh, memory. Um, so that you can, um, so that it helps you heal. Okay. All right. So what you guys are coming through with subconsciously, um, you got masquerade coming through masquerade. This is wearing a false mask. This is, um, pride and ego over everything. This is, um, rolling or hanging out with crowds and people that, you know, kind of don't really resonate with your energy. This is where, um, you know, um, masquerade is being something that, you know, you're not this right here is walking around with a false mask. And if this is not you, this is people that have been like this to you, um, completely, um, revealing another side of themselves, um, that really took you off balance. This is something that happened to you by somebody that r really, you thought you could trust this person. You thought they were important to you. 
you thought you were important to them and boom they show you another side and if this is not somebody that's done this to you it could be that you have done this to somebody um so it's it's asking you to really dig deep and kind of channel through that energy you guys um sometimes it could be just the slightest thing you know um where is your heart sitting and where does your ego sit are they balanced? You know what I'm saying? Do you operate off of ego, even though deep down inside, you know that you're a very spiritual being and you have a very spiritual path and really the, the 3D and the materialistic world don't matter, but yet, um, you know, you're kind of walking around as if you need um, a, a Ferrari, you know, it's, it, it's just, I, you know, it's an example, but what I'm saying with this card is somebody's shown you something or you've shown somebody something that just completely is the opposite of, of who we really are um bride in a cage all right this card is coming through this is almost like um as i said this card came in another read and always a bridesmaid never a bride um dynamic but this right here is feeling trapped by people feeling trapped um by a person um feeling trapped by a relationship you know um i this is not who i am um right here this is i just feel it is entrapment this is somebody who just feels like they're stuck um, think about relationships with people that maybe you've been in um, because it benefited you. Maybe you got money out of it. Maybe it was the sex. Maybe it was just something, one aspect of this dynamic that kept you there, kept you um, feeling um, like it, you were in your own prison. But sometimes what we don't realize is there's no roof on the, the, the cage, you know. Um, we can escape this, but right here, it could be that you're projecting things that have happened in the past. You're projecting wrong turns. You're projecting, um, a, you know, uh, situations onto people that necessarily didn't keep you there. Um, it could just be that you're holding on to resentments um, in that aspect, okay? And then we also have um, downcast pride coming through. And with this card right here, um, <laughs> you know, kind of coming in with masquerade, um, this this right here is, it, 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 you know, I'm kind of looking at it as, as somebody who, um, Um, this right here, I just kind of feel is, is, um, it's just another embellishment on being somebody that we're not, you know, and it could be too, that this is like embarrassment, embarrassed, embarrassment in many ways, shapes and forms, embarrassed of family, embarrassed of friends, embarrassed, um, somebody that has embarrassed you. Um, it, you know, maybe you came from, um, lack, you know, and you carry that. Maybe um, you grew up poor and you carry that. Maybe you're not. Maybe you're afraid to kind of sit with the energy that you were in. Um, you know, this right here to me, a lot of this is kind of breaking some generational curses right here. Um, downcast pride. It could be too that you've had a hard time being proud of who you've become and who you are because other people that you felt were important didn't really revel in that. They didn't show you that. All right. This to me is a very very lonesome type of card. Um, you know, and this right here, I, I kind of feel um, in some, some ways, it, 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 I, I feel shame come from this card. And so where in, in life um, and in, in projections of life have you felt shame? And it's time to kind of um, channel through those negative aspects. So um, these are just some, you guys, I hope that this part has helped. Um, but what you're going to do is kind of d take a deep moral inventory of, of this stuff this right here is where you've pushed it down. This right here is what you need to acknowledge that maybe you still haven't um, uh, healed all the way past from, okay? So let's just see what your advice is, your advice to move forward. You got, you have forward movement. You guys, um, this right here, your advice, look, it's time to face. It's time to face these battles and move head on so that they can be healed, all right? Um, the Eight of Wands is like a, a, a huge positive shift coming in your life um, in a really really huge way so and i feel like if you guys have dealt with or are dealing with a deeper soul level connection right here you feel a loss you feel abandoned you feel like you've, you're lo you're losing um the grips of this person let go of control issues right but just know that once you kind of channel through this uh, everything is going to move forward for you but it's time to face um, a lot of this right here all right so let's see where you guys are sitting at in the next three months the next few months oh wow look at that you guys are coming out of the dark ages 
You're coming out of the disillusion. You're coming out of the illusion. You're coming in to certainty. All right. We have death card coming through with transformation and um, a complete rebirth, a complete shift. All right. With the two of coins. And I'm just looking at this as balance, as success, as, um, you know, movement into the future in a very, very positive light. So um, I also feel that this right here is once you make the decision, um, there's going to be huge rewards that you are able to reap. All right. From this transformation. So Capricorn, I'm going to leave it there. You guys take care.